riding into a hurricane, um, the whole idea is not to have an adventure when you go out to fly into a hurricane. You kind of want things to be under control, uh, well managed, well planned. Uh, it doesn't always work out that way, but most of the time it does. There is a lot of planning that goes into the missions. You don't just go out and fly around. You uh, have specific goals. You want to measure certain things to improve understanding, or nowadays predominantly to improve forecasts. As you, as you come into the eye, there's a ring of clouds around the eye, the eye wall. And normally the airplane gets into a downdraft first as it comes up on the eye wall. So the, 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 it pitches up, the pilots advance the throttles, so you go to a higher power setting. But you don't want to go too fast, because it's like driving on a bumpy road. The faster you go, the worse the bumps are. Then uh, there's normally, as you're going in, you're, you're climbing at a high power setting, and there's a little sort of a shudder. And the good, the good flight crews recognize that. So they pull the throttles back and they pitch the airplane down. You get into an updraft. So now the airplane is like it's diving, but it's being carried up by the updraft. And then you break out, you start seeing the eye ahead of you through the clouds. And I always joke, it's like in the old Tarzan movies where there was a cave behind the waterfall and you could look out into the water through the waterfall at the pool. That's actually what it's like. You see the eye ahead of you kind of misty, and then you break out, bright blue sky above, sunlight on the, on the ocean, sunlight on the inside of the clouds, and it's, it is really, really one of the most lovely sights uh, that, uh, that, you can, that you can describe or see. Uh, Edward R. Murrow uh, is quoted as saying, if there's ever a really adequate definition of humility written, it'll be written in the eye of a hurricane. And I, I love that quote.